my creating to consuming ratio cannot be even and <clears throat> it cannot be even and consuming stuff cannot be for like foreshadowing overshadowing creating so the title of this video i've already i've already made it clear in my head what it's going to be it's literally consuming consume less create more and i say that because you know this world has like programmed us to be consumers consumers you go to the store consume you buy food out you consume it you watch things entertainment consume but it's like when are we ever getting encouraged to create and i don't think that god made us to be 100 percent consumers um i believe god made us in their image so if god is a creator we are creators as well and i'm not saying that we shouldn't consume other people's creations like that's also a part of you know being alive and that's also a gift is to consume other people's creations but it's like when you're consuming like personally when i find myself consuming way more than i'm creating for myself or in general i'm just not i'm not happy because it, it doesn't fulfill me if i'm just consuming consuming but i don't get the joy of being able to create like creating is where i get my joy from and it doesn't matter if i'm creating a song it doesn't matter if i'm creating a video it doesn't matter if i'm creating a meal it doesn't matter if i'm creating whatever just journaling it doesn't matter if i'm creating my room like rearranging stuff creating a new look creating an outfit whatever but creating is just like that's where i get my happiness from also consuming though i'm not gonna lie like when i i made a music video if y'all seen it i just dropped it today earlier than today and what really kind of got me like started what got me more motivated to go shoot it was i was consuming i spent like the whole night um like two days ago a day ago just like binge watching um bear boss bear one boss i was watching a bunch of his music videos and i was like i can do this and it inspired me to literally get up and go make like as soon as i saw it i was like i'm recording let's go i'm making a video let's go so consuming does also give you some inspiration and it can show you that like if they can create this you can too that's how i see consuming but if we're consuming for the gratification and we're consuming just to feel good like nah but huh, i'm gonna drink my coconut water not sponsored but this coconut water is fire harmless harvest fire for some reason harmless harvest tastes the best other waters that coconut waters that i've had like uh what's that one that's in like a box it just doesn't taste good this one seems to actually taste like like if i were to go get a coconut and crack it open and drink it this is what it would taste like but yeah so as i was saying um what i really noticed too that's kind of like affecting my mental health and just every aspect of my life is my presence on social media and i have decided to cut social media out completely i don't have a twitter i don't have an instagram i think i still have facebook i don't go on it though like i'm logged out i'm not logged into any social media so i don't get any notifications so if you try to hit me up on there i will not be responding ever again but um <laughs> yeah and i took it i honestly did it because i realized like i was consuming way too much and I don't even I wasn't even aware of the fact that those hours that I spend on social media or just an hour a day that even just an hour a day or 50 minutes or 45 minutes I can be creating something that 45 minutes that's how long it takes me to make a song instead of me strolling and looking at other people's lives and subconsciously comparing myself and just look, being in places I don't need to be I could be creating progressing in my own life and I didn't realize that till I kind of dropped it and took a step back and I'm like wow cuz now I don't have social media when I'm bored I start doing push-ups. When I'm bored, I'm like, hmm, I'll create something. Hmm, let me go work on the video. Hmm, let me, you feel me? Like, or ideas just come to my head because I'm not scrolling. Like, I've noticed when I'm consuming, consuming, I don't leave any space for any ideas to come in my head. I know it sounds wild, but it's really like, bro, when you back up off stuff, you just start getting ideas. Like, left, right, you're like, oh, thank you, God. Like, I'm supposed to do that. Bet. Like, you start getting ideas, bro. Because when I'm in my phone all day or just on my phone just never giving my brain a chance to sit never giving god a chance to speak to me ain't no messages gonna get through if i'm busy 24 7. something like my my line is busy god can't talk to me i'm watching videos all day i'm scrolling i'm thinking about this thinking about that god can't talk to me like it's just not pure but bro when i'm like chilling i'm bored it's not bad to be bored not even bored like oh I hate my life but just bored like hmm what should I do right now? That's when ideas come to me. And when those ideas come to me, I act on them right there, start plotting on them. I don't just let them sit and be like, 
cool because they're gonna pla they're gonna pass by like this one um person that i've been watching really heavy his name is hindsight h-i-n-d-z-s-i-g-h-t so hindsight like in hindsight and he was saying like we don't have ideas ideas have us so if you choose to not act on an idea that is given to you from god or your ancestors or the universe it's gonna get passed on to someone else and that's why bro like i swear i've had so many ideas come to me and i'll kind of just disregard them and then like a week later i'll see someone else with the same idea do what i was gonna do and i'm like so i fumbled <laughs> essentially like i'll have an idea and I, I won't i won't go forward and i'm like oh like they stole my idea but it's that wasn't my idea. The idea had me and I, I ignored it. So I moved on to someone else. So that's something to be mindful of as well. Like act upon your ideas when you get them. Like God told me, make this video. I was like, I could say, oh, later I wanna do this first. But I was like, if I don't do it right now, it's gonna just become a distant memory and then someone else is gonna do it and I'm gonna be sad. Like, dang, I literally had that in the bag, but I didn't execute it. So you gotta execute as well when you get the ideas. But um, yeah. I was gonna say, um, the reason I got off social media is because I'm honestly not even the type to really scroll and like go through other people's like feeds or whatever. Like I do, I'm not gonna cap, but like 25% of my social media use, specifically Instagram, I kind of stopped using Snapchat. I don't really care about Snapchat anymore. Um, I was on Instagram, 25% of it is like scrolling through other people's stuff and 75% of it is looking at my own stuff and posting my own content which takes up a bunch of time like i'm putting so much effort into posting on instagram but that doesn't build anything for me i mean like people say oh you could, that's how you build your audience but like i'm focused on youtube music other stuff um i'd rather put all my eggs in youtube like if i'm gonna post something i'd rather post it on youtube like you know what i'm saying so that's what i realized but um that's honestly not healthy at all because i would get on instagram and be like okay i'm gonna post the perfect picture blah blah, blah. but it's like that's so fake bro and what am i promoting like you know, no one goes on IG sometimes, sometimes, but like it's wishy-washy. No one goes on IG, takes a pic and posts the first pic they take because it's usually not up to the standards or whatever. So it's like I'm really going on IG, posting the seventh picture that I took because that one looks perfect. And everyone's going to think I'm just this perfect person. Like, I don't want to keep portraying myself as a perfect person because I'm not a perfect person. And I'm not saying I'm like flawed and a terrible human being or anything like that, but I just don't want to keep putting on facades like yeah i need to post on instagram that i'm having a good time that i'm fun smiling blah blah, blah. like no like no if you know me in real life then you know who i am like that's me uh if you know me on youtube that's honestly more of a representation of me because i'm right here speaking um compared to a two second clip or just a little highlight that i get to show off you know what i'm saying i, I just don't want to participate in that anymore and I really don't have the time for it. Like I'm doubling down on me being 100% my best potential. So I told God, like, God, whatever you need me to, to exclude from my life, whatever you need me to, to leave behind, I'll do it. I left weed behind. I haven't smoked. I don't even think about smoking. God has helped me. I literally pray to God, like, I don't need weed. I don't want to, I don't want to smoke. I don't want to drink anymore. I don't want to do drugs. I don't, I just don't want to do that. Um, even like porn addiction, just all these addictions and fixes and stuff I just don't want to do anymore. And God has literally helped me so much with that. Like, if y'all are struggling with stuff like leaving things behind or just really being the best you can be, you can watch a billion YouTube videos. You can watch, listen to all these podcasts. You can listen to all the self-help stuff. But honestly, sometimes you just gotta like, all the time really, you just gotta ask God for help. Like if your heart is not in the right place, ask God to change your heart. If you find yourself having a lot of uh anger my dog a lot of anger and resentment in your heart ask god to heal that as well um yeah but aside from social media like i've also had to ask god to heal my heart and change my heart because i realized you know like god has put people in my life for a reason and i feel like these people in my life are meant to be cherished and loved and who am i to be showing anger and being rude and you know and i've struggled with this like i have sometimes, sometimes bro i'm a rude person i'm disrespectful I'm all the negative things that is not at all what God would want me to be, how God would want me to be acting. And I've had to ask for help with that because like I was stuck in my ways for a while. Like just being, Rico, leave it. Like just being a overall just hateful, judgmental, harsh person. Like you have to ask God to change you. That's what I did. And God has literally like done a three, a 180. 
I, I wouldn't say I'm completely healed. Not even healed, but I'm still working. But um, I've came a long way. I've progressed a lot, and I'm definitely on the track to being my best self. And some things that are gonna help with that are definitely social media, the fix, the quick instant gratification, bro. Like, it's instant gratification. I realized because, all right, for instance, I'm bored, and say I'm bored, right? Or uh, I don't know what to do. That's God just trying to pivot me in a different direction, trying to get me to look at somewhere else to put my energy, trying to get me to, I don't know, go cook, go read, go journal, go make a song, go make a video, go build my family, go just do something productive. And instead I choose to go on social media. Do you, do I really think, do you really think God wanted me to go on social media and scroll when I'm supposed to be doing something else? Like that was not his plan. When I'm here and I'm like, dang, like, oh, I'm sad. And I go smoke a blunt and I'm happy. I'm, I was that's 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 fake because now I'm, I'm I'm trying to slather on something that that wasn't supposed to be there. You feel what I'm saying? Like drugs too, bro. You're sad. You go do drugs. Now of course you're gonna be happy, but like you weren't supposed to be happy. You felt sad for a reason. And a lot of the times we be looking for all these substances and things to fix us and do and 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 make us feel fulfilled, but they literally do the opposite. It's such a like a minuscule amount of happiness that we get from this stuff. Like, bro, I would smoke. And all this stuff and i would feel good like while i was high as hell i would feel good while i'm drunk i would feel good while i'm i'm uh watching porn i would feel good while i'm just doing a bunch of negative things you know i, I feel good while i'm eating the mcdonald's meal right and then afterwards oh when it wears off oh i feel like oh i feel terrible i feel terrible and it's no coincidence but compared to when i Instead of doing those things, I go and make a song. I go and make a video. I feel so, I feel good. Like that energy just, just like stays with me throughout the whole day. I'm like, I did that. I literally like, I overcame my own mind. Like I, I was in the studio and I was about to quit in the middle of that song, but I kept going and I came up with a fire song. Like I'm him, I'm him, Perfect. like I'm him. Like I was tired, but I still went and, and got that workout in. I had, I had a new PR, I was pushing weight, I'm him. I'm him, like, you feel me? Like, that stuff is what I'm craving now, bro. Like, I don't care about none of that stuff, that the stuff that the worldly stuff for real, like the stuff that everybody wants wants me to be involved in, like all that fake stuff, bro. Like, uh, I'm straight. I almost got on TikTok too, bro. I don't even wanna be on TikTok. Like, if y'all really wanna like have a change in your life and for real, for real, just like, stop. Thank you. If you want to have a change in your life, right, and just be your best self, like I promise you, bro, talk to God, get off social media, get off social media, cut out all distractions. You smoking weed heavy? You don't need to be smoking weed heavy. Like cancel me, tell me, oh, I'm soft. Oh, you don't need to be smoking weed heavy. You don't need to be drinking every time you go out. You don't need to drink to socialize. You don't need to drink to, to just feel good. You don't need to drink to create. You don't need to smoke to create. I was in such a rut, bro. I, I was on Adderall bad, smoking weed bad. I would get in the studio. If I didn't have no Adderall, I wasn't making a song. Like I could, but like, was I motivated to go make that song? No. If I didn't have some smoke, if I wasn't chiefing mid song, was I, was I gonna go do that? No. And honestly, bro, to each their own, because I've seen people like, you know, be on stuff and anyway i've seen people be on drugs smoking weed during the sessions all this stuff but it's like it looks it looks good on the outside it looks like they're good it looks like they're living their best life but have you kicked it with them in real life and and do you feel how they feel no like we're just like bro i would see chief keith in the studio smoking right smoking fat Smoking fat, 28 blunts, smoking, just smoking, chiefing, chiefing. And he looks like he lit, he's smoking, he's making a song, but it's like, I don't know how bro feels inside. If you need that much smoke to, to, to feel good, something's going on, bro, because I've been this before. Like, I've, I've been on both sides where, you know, I needed a bunch of drugs, weed, substances to feel good, and when all that was gone, I didn't feel good about myself or anything. But when I when I come to a place where I don't need anything, I'm sober. Because I've done this before. Like I feel so much happier, fulfilled. Like I'm I'm grateful. 
I wake up and I'm like, thank God for just being alive. Like I start to come back to my senses. Like when we're in social media, bro, you wake up, you first thing you do is go on Instagram, like it's your daily news. Your mind is tainted, like tainted, bro. But when I wake up, I don't even check my phone. I only check it maybe to reply to, you know, like, I don't know, my family or something like that. And this is, this is after I've already woken up, uh, went for my run, my walk, drank some coffee, ate some breakfast, took, like, washed my face. And then I go on my phone, like, I'm, I feel refreshed. But to wake up and just already start giving your energy to something besides yourself is just absurd. I encourage y'all, like, let's go be creators, bro. Like, let's be creators. We don't got to be consumers. You want to go start a YouTube channel? Bro, start it. Like, just start it, bro. Like, you want to do whatever, just start it. Like, you want to, I don't know. And you don't got to start big. Like, you don't have to go out tomorrow and buy a business, a store, a storefront, and start uh, selling. Like, you feel me? You don't have to do nothing crazy. But, like, you know, if you find yourself consuming, like, for instance, like, food. Like, you, you buy a lot of food out. You don't really cook anything. Uh, I encourage you to make a meal, like literally Google search a meal, go on YouTube and uh, something that you you buy out a lot. Try to try to recreate it in your house. Like if you if you eat uh, chicken tenders and fries out a lot, like YouTube chicken tenders and fries, uh, homemade Kames recipe. And I, I, I encourage you to try to try to do that yourself, because um, that's what I did for me personally, like just creating food. Like I cook a lot now, but two years ago. <laughs> I didn't even cook. <laughs> I would buy out food all the time. Like I was at Popeyes, uh, McDonald's, all the Panda's. Like I would eat fast food like all day. Like I did not cook, so I didn't just become this like amazing cook. And I, I thought I used to think like I'm not a cook. Not even that I'm not a cook, but like I didn't think I could cook for real, for real. But it's just about doing this stuff. Like you think you're not a YouTuber, make a video and watch how you like it. Like you think you're not a musician try like just make some noises but like you feel me bro just try i feel like god has really showed me like they don't need me to do the whole plan right there i just gotta start and i'm always carried the rest of the way so yeah bro i encourage you to go create something like just try you be eating burgers bro you better go get you some ground beef and, and make a patty cook that mud creators not consumers i don't even i don't even know who you are bro i don't know bro girl they them i don't know who you are g but like you're a creator go create i just go create like i i, I know you got it in you because i got it in me and we're no different like it's not no competition don't hate me because i'm doing something that you could also be doing it's not like you can't do it you just need to start the journey and we'll be on the same page simple as that but yeah y'all peace out man <laughs>